Jono, third pre-season game coming up on Wednesday night. How have you and the lads found the first two, first of all? Yeah, no, there's been uh, a lot of things that we've tried to implement from training uh, that we put into games and I think everybody's learning. Uh, we are all learn, created a, a learning environment, I think, on the training pitch that we're trying to take into games and, yeah, tonight, uh, tomorrow will be another another tough test against some, some go at, good lower league opposition. Mm. Two clean sheets so far as well, of course the minutes have been split a little bit between you and Lewis and it doesn't really matter the opposition though does it, that breeding those good habits, getting the clean sheets in the bag, important for any goalkeeper and back line. Absolutely, yeah, as a defensive unit you want to thrive on clean sheets and that's the basis in which we can win games off and hopefully throughout the season we can keep as many of them as possible and as you say it's, a, it's an attitude as well, it's it's everything, isn't it? It's, that's what we do. We pride ourselves on the uh, on the clean sheets and p- provide a, a platform that the team can can win off. Do you have to be able to celebrate those small wins as well as well as winning three points on a Saturday? If you do get a clean sheet, you have to be able to enjoy that as well, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, as I say, you can't lose a game if you keep a clean sheet. So uh, it provo- provides that uh, platform for for the team to to really build upon and. Yeah, I think as a defensive unit, I think from one to eleven, actually, we're breeding that in. It's mm-hmm. everybody can celebrate the defensive defensive areas, and we can all for, uh, can all appreciate the the attack and efforts as well. And there's plenty of meetings going on every day at the training ground. Is that helping to drive those standards? Make sure everybody's on the the same page. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as I said earlier, it's uh, I think the coaching staff have created a real learning environment, and we're training and we're learning every day, and we're learning new things, and it's coming on every day. And, Hopefully that can stand us in good stead. In the first couple of games of pre-season, of course, coming up against non-league teams, do you use these as well as the outfield players use it for fitness? Obviously, it's a little bit different for a goalkeeper, but the communication between yourself and the back four, how do you go about sort of building that uh, game by game? Yeah, it's uh, so it's sort of like, well, it is uh, similar to match fitness for, for goalkeeping as well. It's obviously not the, the running and stuff of the outfielders, but it's the mental side of it and getting back into game scenarios and match scenarios that you can't really replicate unless you are playing in a, an 11v11 on a full pitch. Did you set yourself targets in the off-season, ready to, to come back? I know, as we touched on there, that the players are all ready to, to do the running and things like that. Goalkeepers will get involved, but it's slightly different, isn't it, when you first come back? Yeah, uh, as in targets for what body weight? Personally, we're... yeah, as a team. Yeah, uh, well, we have one main target, which I think is running through the full club. Uh, has to be right up there this season. Uh, so yeah, I think we're all aiming for that, and we're all we're all on board with that. I think everybody's excited by that, and we should be as well. We should should be right up there. Mm. You've got a new goalkeeping coach in, of course, Ian Bennett, who 500 career games. He's also got a lot of experience in coaching under his belt. How have you found working with him in the first few weeks? Yeah, it's been brilliant, and as you say, that wealth of experience it's unbelievable that like, he can learn off every day. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's been brilliant. I think. Me, Louis and Bots have had a really good relationship so far with him and yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to working with him throughout the season. Because that's crucial, isn't it? As well as you goalkeepers having a good relationship, you've also got to have a good relationship with the man who's who's pretty much putting the sessions on for you every day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as I say, it's, it's like a, a goalkeeping's like the, a team within a team, isn't it? Uh, we're off over, over the other side of the pitches a lot of the time doing our own things and yeah, I think obviously that's it's valuable, that, that relationship in between the, the goalkeeping unit and I think it's been brilliant so far. You've done a little bit of work off the field as well, delivering season tickets to local supporters. How valuable is that, do you feel, in connecting the players and the supporters to? Absolutely, yeah. I think there was a few comments of uh, when I was doing it that surprised and I think people were really happy with it as well. Uh, and as you say, just it's the least we can do as well and it just provides that connection between the fans and the community and the club and the players doesn't it so I think it's really important because if, if the team are going to be successful this coming season they're going to need the supporters every step of the way oh absolutely yeah yeah hopefully we can give them lots to shout about and be excited about and then that'll they'll reciprocate that in, in their support and we know that they, they'll be with us all the way